Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to visit Ukraine first by an Indian PM. He will be taking on an eight-hour-long journey to Kiev and ahead of his visit, Prime Minister Modi said that this is not an era of war and urged for a peaceful resolution to the ongoing war. To talk more on this, we're now being joined by Ambassador Anil Trigunyath. He is a former diplomat and distinguished fellow. Welcome to We On Ambassador. Thank you very much. Now, this is a first visit by Indian PM to Ukraine. Ahead of his visit, Prime Minister Modi said that this is not an era of war. Of course, Prime Minister Modi is carrying the message of peace with him. What are your broader expectations from Modi's historic Ukraine visit? Well, if you remember that uh, from the time in uh, February 2022, when this war started some two and a half years ago, uh, we have seen that um, the India's position has been very consistent. That is, there should be dialogue, there should be diplomacy for peace, and there should be respect for the UN Charter. Mm. That is very important. The UN Charter respect means territorial integrity and sovereignty. Now, that is something India has always maintained. And again, in Samarkand in 22, when Prime Minister was there, uh, there, with talking to President Putin, he mentioned that this was not an era of war. And that is something that was very much appreciated by the old world, which was until then, especially the Western countries, were trying to project India as if it was uh, quietly supporting uh, Russia and not condemning Russia. So that was a very critical move. But India always wished and took a very sane foreign policy, I would say. And that's precisely what PM is doing now. What he did was, he was at the Puglia in Italy, uh, at G7, where he had met uh, Zelensky and uh, discuss with him about it. Then he also met all the world leaders there. Thereafter, he has traveled to Russia. He has discussed with President Putin. And in these meetings, generally, you tend to find out what are the uh, real dead, red lines for the countries. Mm -hmm. Where can they come to, ter to some kind of terms and negotiate? And so that's what India is trying to create, uh, some kind of, a, I would say, an atmosphere uh, and with the basics that uh, there can be a ceasefire and the two sides. And now Prime Minister Modi's visit tomorrow uh, to Ukraine, being the first one by any prime minister, will have two objectives. One is that we have a bilateral relationship which got somehow came under a bit of a stress uh, due to the perception problems uh, during this war period. But at the same time, India has been assisting uh, Ukrainians by humanitarian assistance and all of the means and trying to create uh, an atmosphere where there should be some kind of a talk. But now, second thing is so the bilateral relationship back on track. And secondly, if India can play a role as a facilitator, a peacemaker uh, between the two sides. And as you know, in, uh, in Moscow also, uh, Prime right. Minister Modi told President Putin that um, the solution cannot be found on the battlefield. So it has to be on the table. And hopefully there will be some move forward. Right, absolutely, Ambassador. Before visiting Ukraine, Prime Minister Modi was in Russia and uh, this visit clearly does outline India's balancing act and perhaps position India as a credible voice to the global south. Uh, my next question to you is that how do you think the West will be viewing this visit or Russia for that matter with whom New Delhi has strong trade ties? Well, I think they all are okura with the with the way what India is doing. In fact, if you see the statements coming out from White House, from uh, the other leaders, they all know that India has a special and privileged strategic partnership with Russia. Hmm. And uh, therefore, they all believe and they think that India can play a much uh, stronger role uh, in talking to Mr. Putin. And so that's what Prime Minister Modi has done. Not only now, but he has been talking to them, both sides, for quite some time now. Uh, whether it was the, you know, the Ukrainian, the Black Sea grain deal, mm. uh, India intervened in that also with Russia. Or whether there was a posturing of uh, nuclear weapons and all that. At that time also, Prime Minister Modi was very keen. He spoke to President Putin and others. So I think that the whole world understands, including Ukrainians, they have been asking us. And the Americans and everyone has been asking India to play a greater role, talk to Putin so that the war can end. So this is precisely what India is trying to do. But for their own geopolitical ends, you might hear one statement here, one statement there, criticizing India for whatever. Um, 
do you think that this, with this visit, uh, Prime Minister Modi may wish to signal to Russia that its bilateral ties with India cannot be taken for granted? Uh, stronger and deep-seated uh, uh, trusted the strategic partnership if you see uh, with, with russia it does it is not predicated on our relationship with any other third country so that is not something that we can say uh, to russia or to anybody else we friends are friends you work with them but friends when they do something wrong you tell them openly and that's what precisely india is trying to do right thank you ambassador for joining us and we're on with thank your you. insights Thank you very much.